In this video, I'll show you how to make a Lou song. If you don't know who Lou is, he's like a kind of hyper pop artist. I just make some really cool stuff. I'll play some of his stuff now. But yeah, that's Lou. He just makes hyper pop, you know, songs, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get on to the beat. Step one to making a Lou type song, I think that's how you pronounce it, is firstly you need to get a melody. Honestly, it's not that hard to program your own melody, but for this, I just got my own sample from this uh, Glaive loop clip that just has some like Lou samples in it. So I'll link where I got that in the description, but anyway, this is the sample. Okay, and then once you have that, basically, what I did, because Lou songs are just kind of, they're kind of simple, if you know what I'm saying. They're not simple, but, like, they don't have a lot to them. So, but, like, the 808 is, like, the main part of it. So, for the 808, I got myself just a really basic, it's called basic 808, basic 808, and just, just followed the pattern. Yeah, and also with Lou songs, they always seem to have really high 808s, like, at the end or some point through the song. And it just constantly changes and stuff. So you want to try doing that. Okay, so then once you've done that, I did for the 808s, I added some effects. So the effects I used is an EQ and just boosted the bass like a lot. And a fat distort from Fruity, Fruity Fat Distort. And just turn the fresh up that much and the pretty that much. Okay, so then once you have that, basically you just want to add like normal drums, like as you would on things. The kit I use for this is a, a, a hyper pop kit. I'll link that down. Yeah, all the all the uh, shots from this are from this kit. So first, you want to add like a you want to add a kick that doesn't go on all the 808s, but it goes on some of the 808s. So like, listen to this. Okay, and then for the clap, I just did. Um, let me see what I did. Okay, I just got some two snares from there. Yeah, and then just like did an extra bit. And then for the hat, I just added like a normal the hat. With a few rolls. Okay, then for a perk, I added like in the hyper pop kit I found. If I went into perks, they they had this like really cool like washy sound. And then once you've got that and all the together, that is basically the main beat for the loose song done. So together it sounds like this. Once you basically have that beat, you just wanna arrange some things so i added like a riser an impact on the beat drop and then i also added uh like these pauses in between the beat which has like an among us sound in it like which just makes it sound like it makes it sound like cooler you know if i'm what i'm saying so yeah and then also for the beginning of the song what i did is i got I got the sample, but then right at the end, I made it like slow down. The way I did that is I have a plugin called Isotope Vinyl, and then you see this, this spin down thing. You wanna check this and automate it to your track. And then what I did is I exported it. It's just like another MP3, and then put it in here. So that's basically what I did. So if you get Isotope Vinyl, you can do this. It may sound a bit complicated, but honestly, it's not that hard. For vocals, just kind of made up some random lyrics, but I love the full clip. I just want to go to those are just the random things. But for the effects I used, is I used auto tune. Like obviously you need auto tune for for like a hyper pop song for a hyper pop song. I turned the speed like kind of high. Just copy that, put it in the right scale. But then for the format shift, it may look a bit different on your auto tune. But I turned that to two point five. That makes it just sound like more like like a robot, you know. I love the full clip. I just so yeah, and then like with it normal, it sounds like this. But with the full clip, I just want to go to... So you see, it sounds a bit more like hyper pop if you turn there. And then also I added a compressor, just a normal-ish compressor. Uh, you can just copy that down if you want to. And then for EQ, I just did this, just cut out all the lows, boosted some of the highs and mids. And then I added like a fruity, another fruity fat distort, just to make it sound a bit more like punchy, you know? So I just changed these two to the pre there and the threshold there. And then I added some reverb, turned the dry to completely to the bottom and the wet completely high. I turned the size down a lot and then just made it so it was really small on the, this bit here. 
So it just hit, you can hear it like slightly in the background. Up with the full clip, I just and together that sounds like this. Up with the full clip, I just want to go to. And that's basically it for like the vocals of the song. But all I did different is I, so I made some like hyper pop like roll things with the voice. So it's like. The way you do that is pretty simple. You just cut the beginning of the thing and then just duplicate it a bunch. And then that's basically it for the whole song. So, so yeah, now this is, this is the whole song. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. It really does help. I'll have the beat that I just made on my beat YouTube channel where you can go listen and stuff and use it if you want to.